next 72 hours, I am going to be wearing this 40 pound weight vest. That means eating, sleeping, working and working out, and even going to the bathroom. All right, so starting weight, 157.2. And 198. 72 hour, 40 pound weight vest challenge, starting now. All right, I decided to go on a little walk to see kind of how I would feel and everything. As you can see, I got it on underneath my sweatshirt. I do not have much mobility in this. Like, I can only raise my arms like this much. And it's already like making my traps super sore. So we're gonna see how this goes, doing all my normal day activities with an extra 40 pounds on top of it. Sleeping's gonna be a challenge because during my Liver King video, which if you haven't seen, go check it out up here, I slept on the floor. And I still continue to sleep on the floor because I like it. The other difficult task that will give me a challenge is like working out, like squatting. I have to make sure that I'm squatting with an extra 40 pounds. Or like running, because like one of the people that commented on one of my videos was like, yeah, I used to run with a weighted vest on and I could run this time. I was like, I wonder what that feels like. So I put like 20 pounds on this weighted vest and I ran and it was like super difficult. So for the past two hours, I've been door dashing with this weighted vest on underneath my sweatshirt. And oh my goodness, my breath is like so shallow. My body is so hot. It's like, it's like 30 degrees in Wisconsin right now. And I literally feel like it's like 60 or 70 degrees when I'm outside. My back and like traps are just absolutely killing me. And I'm like, and I sit and stand. Standing is the worst though, because it just like pulls down so much on me. Yeah, my lower lumbar started to act up. No matter if I'm sitting or standing up, that's just sore. We're here for Monday's workout. Got my weighted vest on underneath this. And let me just say, I already feel like I've done a workout today. My quads from like walking up steps and walking around, like they're already burning. My lower back and traps feel like they're just like, ugh, super sore. But anyways, today I think we're gonna try and do, um, we're gonna see how many pull-ups we can do, and then I think I'll just do some arms. My hands, after using that bar, are literally dripping wet. I don't even feel like my muscles are that tired. I literally just like can't pull it up anymore. Those are just the hardest reps of dips I've ever done in my life. I feel like I'm like this close to tearing a muscle on every single rep that I do with this weighted vest. Also update. I only got 21 pull-ups in, and the last reps for like the last three sets were just... <laughs> so, yeah. I think I could have done a little bit better if the bar wasn't so slippery too. All right, that was, let's say, an eventful workout. I did 21 pull-ups, 20 dips, and then my friend Patrick and I decided to do some sparring for Taekwondo. So we spent like 10 minutes just like trying to kick each other. <laughs> Either way, working out with this vest on, I don't feel like I'm gonna be sore from this. Like I literally just like didn't have the strength to even work my muscles out enough. Like if it was a little bit lighter, I think it would have been a lot better. Well, that sucked to say the least. That was probably one of the worst nights I've had of sleep in a long time. And I was really looking forward to getting a good night's sleep because all of yesterday I had a headache and it literally felt like somebody was trying to rip my eyes off the back of my skull kind of headache. So yeah, I literally, I could only sleep in like one position and it was on my like left side and it still felt like I was sleeping on rocks and I couldn't move around at all. Terrible. So I think tonight, we're gonna try and sleep on a bed and see if that helps. Other than that, the only thing that really hurts are like my traps. I can tell my like skin is like starting to get red and almost like peel just from all the tension and these things on it. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be bruised from like my trap and my collarbone from the weight vest sitting on it for so long. I might, after this, I might need to go see like a chiropractor or a massage therapist because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be like punched over like this. Like my posture is gonna be so bad after this challenge. All right, for today's challenge, we're gonna be testing how high I can jump my vertical 
Now, last time I did a vertical test, I was on one of those like matte ones that electronically tracks it, and I got 35.6 inches. And my best running one is like 40 inches, off two feet. Now, with this, I will be shocked if I get over like 28 inches. I'll be shocked if I get over 24 inches, so two feet. I'm gonna do a standard reach test. I, that's the thing, I lack mobility with this thing. All right, the top of that is my reach, and now I'm gonna have three attempts to see how high I can jump. That all goes according to plan if the tape actually sticks. Jump number one. Oh, no! I missed the wall. Let's try that again. Oh man, that was pretty bad. I can beat that. I, can, I know I can beat that. Jump number two. Oh. I just barely, I just barely beat it. All right, third and final jump. I want to see. I want to try and touch that metal piece. If I can touch that metal piece, I'll be happy with that. All right. Here we see Jordan lining up to take the jump. He's running through it in his head. Look at that arm movement. He's practiced this jump over and over. Here we go. And he misses it. Oh. <laughs> All right, another, another practice test. That was a good whiff. Come on. All right, I don't think I'm beating that. We're gonna go measure that and see how high I got. All right, the numbers are in. First jump, 17 inches. Second jump, 17 and a half inches. And third jump, obviously no better. So, yeah, wow. I at least thought I'd get over 20 inches. I slept pretty well last night. Yesterday, I didn't feel like somebody was pulling my eyes out the back of my skull. So that was a good thing. The only thing really is like, I, my body's starting to get sore. Like. My legs and hip flexors are sore, like my arms and shoulders are getting pretty sore. I'm still having like red marks underneath this, so I put some gloves in there to try and give like a little bit of cushion. So yeah, 24 hours left in this challenge, not too bad. Today though, for the workout, we're gonna see if I can do 200 push-ups with this 40 weight pound vest on and how long it'll take. So I'll see you guys there. One thing I'm kind of bummed out about wearing this vest and trying to work is I can't like use my treadmill and I can't like stand up, which I love working that way. Cause it's just like so hard on my shoulders and everything that like my work productivity just goes absolutely to zero with it. All right, for today's workout, we're gonna do 200 pushups with this weighted vest on. Now I have no idea how easy or hard this will be. My body's still feeling pretty sore. So we'll see how long this takes, but right now it's 2.35, but let's get started. down 150 more to go little reminder if you guys want to help me out hit the subscribe button we're at 151 right now still got to do all the push-ups for those subscribers these don't count but let's get back at it quick update if you guys were wondering how does he change his shirt with the weight vest on and I say this the same way I shower I don't so at the end of this challenge I'm really looking forward to a shower and a change of clothes One hundred down, one hundred more to go. This last one hundred is gonna be tough. I don't know if this is because like I'm doing push-ups, but my hands are looking a little purple. Hopefully that's not a bad thing. That was one hundred and fifty-one for the hundred and fifty-one subscribers that I had during this. We got forty-nine more to go. Well, I'm gonna try and speed run this. We go Super Saiyan. Five more. 40 seconds left. 
200 push-ups or we did 205. I don't know. Those last few got me winded. I'm tired. Whew. Tomorrow, we're gonna end the challenge with a one mile run. See how fast I can do it in this 40 pound weight vest. Doesn't matter what the weather is outside. Right now it's like 11 degrees. Whatever the weather, we're gonna run. I'll see you guys then. Morning everybody. It is our final day. It's about just a little past 8 a.m. We got 30 minutes left of this challenge. So I thought I'd end it with a one mile run. I feel so awkward with my running stance right now. I feel like I'm trotting. <laughs> for those of you that wonder what it feels like to wear this vest for 72 hours, think about somebody pinching your shoulders. Your shoulders are like super sore and super tensed. And then they're sunburned and the skin's starting to peel. And then somebody takes coarse rope and is just constantly pulling downwards on them. I'm excited to get this off so I can finally change my shirt and shower. With the weighted vest, it's like hard to raise my arms. And as I'm holding my gimbal, oh my gosh, my, my shoulders, traps, arms, everything is just dying. Oh, I'm starting to slow down more and more. Feel it in my quads. Almost. All right, that was one mile. The time is in. I ran that mile with a 40 pound vest on in nine minutes and 45 seconds. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. When I started getting back into running, like I had only been doing sprint and jump training before this. Like my first mile that I ran was 9.30 and I felt terrible. And after this one, you know, I don't feel too bad. Like obviously my lungs and nose are a little stuffy just cause it's so cold outside, but it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, that was wearing a 40 pound vest for 72 hours. And as you guys can see, I have a lot of red marks right here. My shoulders are so tight doing like this motion cause I've been just sitting here like this for so long. It feels so nice to like stretch out and everything. I feel like a little bruising in my collarbone right here. But hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more challenges like this, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Jay Lacey, out.